staring at this the is grill. the <laughs> this is the grill cast <laughs> gotcha will gotcha yep i'm chris and i'm will and i'm doodlebug and today we're going to be talking about what now <laughs> we are talking about swat cats <laughs> and uh I put the title on here on the thumbnail. It says SWAT Cats, A Tale of Death and Rebirth? Question mark Because there was that Kickstarter campaign. Um, that is correct. I'm going to read some stuff that I wrote up here, and then I'm going to let Doodlebug take over. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get through this quickly so she can do whatever she's, you know, she's going to give much better information than I am. So here we go. SWAT Cats, The Radical Squadron, was an ill-fated cartoon show which aired from September 11th, 1993 till its cancellation in 1995. The show was wildly popular, and money was not a factor in its cancellation. Uh, Ted Turner, the owner of Turner Entertainment, which produced and aired the show, canceled it due to violence, and allegedly they were worried about the sh that the show encouraged children to be violent with each other. And normally, after a 90s show is canceled, that would be the end of the conversation, but uh, there'd probably be a cult following years later, with reruns running forever. But this was not the case for SWAT Cats. In 2015, the original creators, Christian and, is it Yvonne? Yes. Yvonne Tremblay launched a Kickstarter campaign to revive the show. The campaign mm -hmm. successfully raised $141,500, which allowed the creators to produce a trailer in an attempt to get a studio to purchase and produce the show. Unfortunately, no studios picked up the show at this time, but the creators have been working towards producing independent episodes of the show by working with investors and publishing the episodes online for streaming. However, this has not happened yet, to my knowledge. Nope. The last thing we ever hear from the Tremleys is that they're still working on it. Other than that, there hasn't been any trailers or art or anything from Revolution, as it is going to be called. And uh, what, what are we looking at right here? What would you send to us to, to pull up on this screen here? That is a very old trailer from a game that is currently in development called SWAT Cats Recharged. And you, have some, is, you have some involvement in that, correct? Yes, I am one of the writers for it. And currently we do not have anything we can share at this time. But I am able to give the... I could give a little bit of the plot to it. Apparently it is 10 years in the future, the SWAT cats are gone, and Mega Cat City has pretty much gone down the pooper. <laughs> so the new mayor, Kelly Briggs, enlists some help from two unlikely sources. I wonder who those could be. <laughs> you shall see. <laughs> is there, um, is there more, to, uh, more pictures we should be looking at on here? I think I can show at least uh, one picture. Let me oh, I meant I meant on the video. I was just asking if there was more videos or more pictures coming. Unfortunately, not at this time. No. Okay. We haven't released any more videos. No, I then. I meant so this video keeps going. I was just asking if there are more pictures. It looks like there are still pictures in the video. Oh uh, yes, that was a very very old. Uh, very very old video. So, we want to remember SWAT cats today because our our uh, friend of the channel on here, our guest Doodlebug, really likes the SWAT cats. So the first thing I want to talk about is what do we remember about the SWAT cats? What what's some some memories we have of this show? Will, you were today years old when you first watched a SWAT Cats yep. video. I was so, today years old. I have no memory of this show. <laughs> I had no idea this show was a thing until uh, we decided to do this episode uh, last week. So. As you can see, though, our, uh, our guest today has a video with 115,000 views all about SWAT Cats, but only mm -hmm. Jake and Chance. So uh, mm -hmm. what are some of your best memories of this show? Oh my gosh, I would have to say mostly the music, cause you gotta love that electric guitar. It is good. Even Will was commenting on that. Yeah, it was good when we were watching the the intro stuff. Yeah. Mhm. Mm he was getting his engine revved. 
Yep, and for those of you who actually have not seen the show before, it's about two guys. They were once pilots in in a police. I can't. I can't English. <laughs> <laughs> there were once pilots for the police force that's known as the enforcers. Unfortunately, when one day they were chasing after someone. And their plane had crashed into the main building of the Enforcers, and they were forced to go to the salvage yard to work off their debt. And yeah. unfortunately, because their salary is so small, they're going to be at the salvage yard forever. Mm -hmm. However, they are able to remedy this problem, so they can still fight criminals, but as their alter egos, the SWAT cats. Okay. And trust me, there is a lot of villains in Mega Cat City. Well, I'm trying to pull up a picture of them. Is there? Do you have any pictures of them and their SWAT cat alter egos in here? I actually do. I'm trying to find is this. No, that's not it. Is it? No, that's not it. I'm trying to find yep. a clip. Let's see if I got it over here. Yep. Here's a picture. Oh, on the um. On the Discord, yeah. Well, Will, you're <laughs> a SWAT cat for a minute. <laughs> awesome. He's the he's one of the best SWAT cats. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally. Let's see if I can get this over here. All right, there we go. All right, Will, you're back. You're back, Will. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the left one is known as T-Bone. He is the main pilot for their jet, which is called the Turbo Cat. And the right one is called Razor. He is the WSO, which is the weapon system operator. So he does the missiles and guns and stuff. Now this was this show had a lot of like weapons technology, uh, lots of arm armor armored vehicles and various enemies with lots of guns and stuff, right? Am I remembering right. the show correctly? Yeah, and so it was considered to be a very violent show, even though it didn't really show a lot. Like there was no blood and gore and craziness going on. It was mostly just explosions, guns and mm -hmm. missiles and those sorts of effects, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. So. When you think about that, right, and you think about the amount of violence in gaming shows and anything really nowadays, this is pretty tame compared to mm -hmm. that. Yeah, it is. And so the 90s were a completely different beast when it came to rating shows, rating games. Yeah. I mean, this is when the ESRB had to come out because of a game called Night Trap. And yet here we are looking back at it and you can almost laugh at them calling this a violent show because it's really mm -hmm. just a couple of cool cats, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> just having a good time fighting crime and fixing cars in a junkyard. Yep. So as far as other shows, besides just the SWAT cats, um, there's a lot of shows in the 90s got canceled. Um, early, way early, and mm -hmm. much you know, much to our dismay, they never made a comeback or had a Kickstarter campaign that raised money. And even though the show hasn't come out, there's still some hope for it. Um, but shows like Street Sharks will probably never make a comeback. Unfortunately. Yeah, I vaguely remember Street Street Sharks. And then there was actually an ill-fated Battletoads uh, cartoon <laughs> show that had one episode come out. They were trying to piggyback off the Ninja Turtles by creating a video game franchise and then a cartoon show, which is the opposite mm -hmm. of what the Ninja Turtles did, which was <laughs> yeah. create a show and then a video game. Um, there was actually even a Fire Emblem TV show, but neither of you would ever have seen that, probably. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not going to bother pulling that up. It'd just be a bunch of uh, Japanese, Japanese-speaking people and... Uh, English dub, which is apparently what they thought would be acceptable in the 90s. Which, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nobody wanted that, apparently. Um, what 
impact has the Kickstarter campaign had on the legacy of the SWAT cats? Um, it, I know that you would have a better opinion on the fandom than I would. Um, is the fandom of the SWAT cats generally happy with the Kickstarter campaign? Are they still hoping this is going to happen? Where are we at? I think at first everyone was super excited to hear that it was coming back. But after a few years of not hearing anything, half of them dropped off. But some of them do say they'll actually come back if anything comes out. But in what at a convention during one of Christian and Yvonne's panels, Christian did explain that when they first pitched SWAT Cats, it took them seven years to actually get it on the air. And then it got canceled in two. That, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm still holding a little bit of hope. I'm surprised like something like Netflix or Amazon wouldn't pick this up. Yeah, it'd be perfect for Netflix. Or Amazon. I know, right? Or anybody, really. Um, I... That is really surprising that they had a, a successful Kickstarter campaign and yet nobody wants to produce the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Netflix produces everything. I know. <laughs> I, I can't imagine. Regardless of uh, how good it is. So. Right, yeah. Yeah, that's true. They have a lot of weird stuff on Netflix. It's not into intro. Well, you know what this <laughs> reminds me of, though? Like, um... Like, uh... The Mighty Ducks. Remember that was a real, oh, yeah. real short show oh, in the nineties. I love the Mighty Ducks. I, I love both the cartoon and the movies, <laughs> even though they have nothing to do with each other. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. And the funniest thing to me is this was produced by, um, you know, it's on, it's on Boomerang. Really, is where you, wherever you see it now, if you yeah. see it at all. And is Boomerang still a thing? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it is. Yeah. At one point, SWAT Cat was on was on Verve, but then it was taken off. But then it came back, hmm. and I do not know if it's back on there again. I love how their disguises aren't really like. It doesn't make me think they're a different person at all. <laughs> It's very reminiscent of the 90s. Oh, if I just wear this mask, nobody will know who I am. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I talk about this and <laughs> why SWAT cats wouldn't work in the real world. <laughs> it's just, it very much reminds me of all of the 90s. Like, this just, it feels so 90s yeah. to me to look back at this and watch, like, an, this intro, the guitar riffs. This is just... It's an epitome of the 90s. It's, it's, it is what it is, you know? Everything was, like, it was there, and then it was gone. And then it was there, and it was gone. And you, you, you know, mm -hmm. and you didn't have YouTube to go back to and say, well, let me go see that again. No, you either caught it when it came out, or you mm -hmm. didn't. That was it. And if there was reruns, you were lucky. Yeah. Oh, my there. gosh. This... Yeah, don't forget to share the season two intro. I'm sure everyone will love to see that. <laughs> Let's see. Season 2. I would play the music, but then we'd get we this video would get struck down. I don't yeah. want that. I uh I just played like 2 seconds of like a a Michael Jackson song one time and the whole video got struck down from YouTube. That is so dumb. It was like the intro guitar riff to beat it. Like, do, 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 and that was it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I just hummed it. I just hummed it, okay? Even so, people get struck for that. Yeah, I remember seeing, it was a Mario Kart video that Achievement Hunter was doing. And they were singing the Donkey Kong rap, and apparently that got their video struck. <laughs> That's oh horrible. Oh I know, God. it's so stupid. Season 2 is a lot darker looking than Season 1 was. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I also posted a scene in the Discord chat. It's from one of my favorite episodes from Season 2 called The Deadly Pyramid. Surprisingly, it's one of the only episodes that actually looks anime. 
Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I just now look at all these pictures. Please throw it three thousand more times. <laughs> Yeah, it does look pretty anime. I think I've seen this episode, honestly. Yeah, I've definitely seen this one. It's been so long. Every once in a while, I'll just binge watch the whole series. It's definitely one that you... I mean, it wouldn't take you that long. It's like, what? Mm -mm. 50? No, not 50. Um, 20 minutes per episode and, what, 26 per season? Is that right? Uh, I think there's 13 episodes in season one, I believe. Oh, maybe 26 total. Yeah. That's my. That might be what I'm remembering. Yeah, and there's four or half episodes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So there's technically only 12 in the one season. 12 yeah. or 12, yeah, right? Yeah. 12 or 11, something like that. Why are there half, that. half episodes? I think it was time constriction or something. Okay. Though it kind of makes me wish that the turmoil episode was longer. That was a good episode. Hmm. Do you remember when Jackie Chan had a cartoon show? Yeah. I yes, did. Jackie Chan Adventures. I, I think it's Johnny Bravo, which you can't produce Johnny Bravo now. <laughs> you probably, just because of, he's Macho Man, right? Like, oh, Johnny Bravo. Probably couldn't. Yeah. There's so many shows that were released in the 90s that I have so much nostalgia for, and I'm thinking about it, like, you can't release that show now. Yeah, you can't really show much stuff. I'd be surprised if people actually decide to stream SWAT Cats on air again, because I'm sure one of the episodes will be taken down due to the fact that. In Mega Cat City, there's two identical towers, and in Metal Urgency, you can clearly see it as a robot collides with another robot, and it's burning and falling down the building. Oh, I'm sure geez. someone, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure someone's gonna whine about that and saying, "Oh, it's due to the September 11th attack. <laughs> it's making fun of it." Even though it came out before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was predicting that. Obviously. Yeah, it was it was the prediction of the century. Anyways, yep. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I could I, I can see why they, in the '90s somebody might equate this show to violence, but you certainly, if you produced this show today, you just wouldn't be there. It it wouldn't be. Those concerned. cats look so aggressive, man. <laughs> yeah. Remember, this is the anime episode. Everything looks more edgy. Yeah. This is this is the the. Um, edge of edginess. <laughs> Anyways, is there anything else you guys? Let me see if I got any more notes in here we want to talk about. Oh, well, we already discussed the Kickstarter. So, um, is there any other shows besides SWAT Cats you'd love to see come back? Let's just talk about that real quick. The 90s Spider Man show, the X Men show, the Little Mermaid, <laughs> Flying King show. The Little Mermaid? The Little Mermaid was the legit. Little Mermaid. The Merd... Yeah. No, you said Merd Maid. No, I didn't. Said, <laughs> I said Mermaid. I think he's starting to slur. The alcohol's hitting him. <laughs> the, uh, 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 alcohol. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm going to get his claim by both of those songs. <laughs> Even though I sang them horribly. Um, <laughs> I would love to see Batman Beyond make a return. Oh, yeah. That was Ooh, a good that show. That was cool. That was a good that show. Was, that was in the 90s. I had that in early 2000s. Either way, it got canceled after, like, a season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. I liked that one. I also liked, um... Oh, what was the other one that got canceled too early? Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, Chimax. Samurai Jack, but they did it in a... Fin they, actually, they actually finished Samurai Jack, so I was actually happy about that. Yeah, oh, yeah. but mm -hmm. I didn't particularly like the ending. Yeah, that's fair. Um, trying to oh street sharks. That's the one I was trying to say. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Woo. There you go, Chippendale. Not the Chippendale dancers. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Actually, they can bring those back. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Next meme. <laughs> Magic Mike. Yes. Yeah. You got, you got anything? You got anything new? Anything you want to bring back besides the uh, SWAT cats? 
I would say Animaniacs, but they actually are coming back. Are they? Yep. I remember you said this before. It's either gonna be this year or next, but they are talking about Animaniacs coming back. Hmm. Hmm. Hulu. Let's go on to Hulu? Huh. I'm excited now. I got Hulu. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this. Ooh. It's WB, right? And Hulu's yep. owned by Disney. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. Hmm. Well, these they must have... be early concept sketches. No, they got um they got crossovers with the Animaniacs and um Lo oh, Looney Tunes, yeah, you're right. That doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, it's, it's WB, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Huh. Another one I'd like to see reboot is uh, um, Invader Zim. Mm. They did come to... back with they did come back with a movie. Yeah, they did. And the Florpus was good. I mean, like a full blown show though. Yeah. What about Courage the Cowardly Dog? That show is gone. Oh, that show was weird. It was creepy. <laughs> it was good. Return but it was creepy. the slab. What's your offer? <laughs> I still remember the first time I watched uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, I was terrified for like a month. The, it was the one episode, it's like, I think it might be, be the pilot episode of it actually, because I remember, I was like, I hope this show doesn't get produced. <laughs> That's my thought process at the time. Oh man. Anyways, I'm not going to go bother pulling that up. SWAT Cats, definitely go watch it if you get a chance. I'm sure Doodle agrees. Yes, very mm -hmm. much agree. Will's going to learn guitar and play the riff for you. So get yes, us to 10,000 subscribers. Will will buy a guitar, and he will play the okay. intro to SWAT Cats. I already have the guitar. Will will learn guitar then. <laughs> yes. And then I'll play a jazzy saxophone version of the song. 10,000 subs will do it. Get, a, get Crowcast to 10,000 subs. And if we hit 9,999 this video, we'll have an edit where there'll be a skip right here. And nobody will ever remember we said that. <laughs> <laughs> As always, I'm Chris. And I'm Will. And I'm Doodlebug. And we are the SWAT Cats. Mm -hmm.